Next man speaking. Kicks from 25 metres out. Drop punt. It's very close. I think it's a goal. Two to Mickett. I started here a long time ago, and longer than I care to remember, probably 1979 and under-19s, I think. It's, it's certainly a, a source of good memories, both as a player and, a, and as a coach, and uh, I'm just very grateful for the fact that West Adelaide gave me the opportunity to play at all, and to have played, you know, 100 and whatever it is, league games is something I'd never thought would happen. In 2016 I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease so uh, that, was, that came as a bit of a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting it. And then over the last couple of years I've been able to lead a reasonably normal life. I've had a couple of brain operations though along the way and that slowed me up a little bit but uh, fortunately because Matthew Clark rang me in about uh, November of last year to see if I wanted to uh, join his coaching crew uh, with the women's team and uh, I was absolutely delighted with that. That, that idea of kicking the footy again has come true. I, not, not that I do it very well, but I can do it. <laughs> That's not my main attribute, but um, it, it's a sort of a symbol that you know I've made progress, I suppose. And uh, the thing that was difficult about the decision was whether I could do it, whether you know my condition allowed me to commit the time that they wanted. And uh, in the end, I wanted to ta give it a crack. I, I just don't like to say no without trying, so uh, it was important for me to be able to give it a go and uh, see how I went. Three times best and first in West Adelaide. If we get 10,000 people here on Sunday, it'll be electric because, you know, you look around the ground and it, it'll be full. And uh, a full Richmond Oval is like no other place in South Australian footy, I reckon. And so for everyone who's watching, come out and support the girls. 4.40 start on Sunday and uh, let's pack the place out. <laughs>